G'day folks, today we're going to be repairing this dam. So it only holds probably a foot and a half of water in the middle because over the years, as you can see from the edge of the bank, the cows have been slowly spalling the soil in and pushing it into the dam. Also, this waterway here, this spillway right beside me, the overflow, because they're constantly walking through there to access the water, they've, they've compacted that soil down, but not only that, they've loosened it and as it rains, it pushes the water out. So it's getting lower and hence why the dam doesn't hold any water. So what we'll be doing today, I'll be using the old school water level. I'll show you guys how to use that. And we'll be building up this entrance or this spillway to this dam. And then we're putting on pot, an overflow pipe and then filling it all the way to the top. That way the cows can't access it. That way they'll have to walk around and the water level will stay the same and it won't wash out again. G'day guys, Jason from the Utter Farm here. I've actually got Nicole on the back of the camera today. Hi everybody. And I've got my mum and dad out here. They're giving me the hand with this dam job because dad's got a tip, tipper on the back of his ute. Really handy when you load it up, you can just tip it straight into the hole. So, so what I'm doing first guys, to make this water level, you need a datum. So this is my datum point that I'm putting in now. So this is the level I want the dam to come to. So this is one end of the water level will come to here as a datum and the other end will go back over to the mouth of that spillway. And that'll give you a level where I want the bottom of that pipe. So what I'll do is I'll hand me this in and we'll get cracking. And this is the other end. The datum point will go over there with the water level and the other water level end will come here. Because water makes its own level, if you've got it in the pipe, it takes a little while. By the time you adjust the pipe up and down, you'll see the water levels move at both ends. Once it's set still, that's the level. And then you slowly move the levels to the height you required at both ends. And once it's calm again and there's no movement, you mark your levels at both ends. And that'll be the point in which the pipe will sit here and the height of the water will end up staying. To get this level, what I do here is I hold my water level against my post. And what I get mum to do is I get her to either raise it or lower her end until my level here gets in the spot required. At the moment, I need to go down about an inch. So I tell mum to lower her end and then my bubble will slowly go down. You just wanna drop that down mum a little bit, probably a couple of inches. Yep, stop there. Maybe up an inch. Whoop. So I'll get Nicole to come over and I'll show you where I'm up to now. So if you have a look right down where I want the level to be, I don't know if you can see it, but I've got the water level is right there. There's a level in the pipe and that's where I want the bottom of the dam to be. So that's spot on. I'll tie it off now and I'll go Mark's mum post over there and then we know how much soil to put in that spillway. I had to race over and give mum a hand. It was 2.2 degrees here this morning so mum was bent over here while I was doing the other end and it got that cold. She almost couldn't stand up. She, she was sort of snap frozen in that position. So <laughs> say hi to my mum. Hello, that's what, that's what mums are for. They've got to have a help out. Oh, that's it. <laughs> So right guys, I, this, is the, this is the other end where mum was. I get the coal to come down. So that's the level we ended up with. I'll mark it here with an echo. So as you can see, there's the level. I don't know if you can see it through there, but the level's right there. So I'll mark that there. So it looks like we're gonna need anywhere between, well, possibly eight to 10 inches down the other end and maybe six right up close to here. The fill level we require now, we've taken the water level, the Nico marks there. Looks like we're gonna end up with six inches of clay at this end and a foot of clay at the other end to fill it up the level I require. If I swing around, Nick's over there, that's been datum point. So where Nick is, where a feet are, that's where the dam level will end up. What are you on cow watch? Make sure none of those cows get through.
that's as far as we can go today. So I've leveled it out and I've probably got it three inches higher than the mark because I reckon it's gonna compact down maybe two to three inches. So what we'll do is we'll leave it here for around about that four week mark. That'll give time for the cattle to come through, which I know they will because anything new they're gonna play with, dig it, sniff it. They'll come through and they'll compact it for me and say it's me doing it. Hopefully get rid of rain and then compact it down. Then we'll come back and do what tweaks we need to do. We'll do our final levels and then we can lay this pipe in. The only thing I didn't mention, guys, when I was talking about that level, the, that I was using that uh, old school level with the pipe, is make sure that it's got no bubbles in your line. Because if you're playing with that level and all of a sudden a bubble comes out and pops up, that's going to drop down the height of that bubble, which is anywhere it can be probably in that line. I think it was a 12 mil line or half inch line. It could drop down easily half inch in height and you're going to be at a level. So do a visual on that pipe first, making sure there's no bubbles. If there is, all you do is flick the pipe where the bubbles are and chase it up one end and pop them all out and then use the level. This has had two months to settle. As you can see, the cows are compacted down pretty well. I know the cows have come through here because there's cow patties and there's hoof marks in here. What we want to do now is we're going to set these star pickets in place. We're going to put them down on angle because tomorrow morning we've got an early start out here just after sunrise. And we're going to fill this in. So to avoid this moving, I'm going to star picket in five places down on an angle. Put them down on the ground, maybe 400 mil, just over that foot mark and that'll wedge it in place, fill it in, and we shouldn't have any issues tomorrow. That's going nowhere guys, catch in the morning, bright and early.
We've got the last of that soil in and level it off. We batter down the edges a little bit. That way when it rains, it's not gonna run off. We're gonna give it uh, probably a month or two to compress down and the cows will walk over it, get it compact and we'll tidy it up and we'll sort of put mulch over it. That way we'll get some grass seed across the top here and have it growing. Have a good morning, have a great afternoon and a terrific evening guys, wherever you're watching us from and we'll catch you later. Thank you.